I was deeply moved by the line of today's gospel. It says, and I go, are you the one who is to come or are we waiting for another? This type of question speaks about doubts. And there is an element of confusion. Are you the one? Are you the expected one? In today's gospel, as we start our novena masses, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear Kababayans, John was confused and he doubted and doubted the Messiah. That's why he sent his disciples to Jesus to clear his confusions and to eliminate his doubts. Because he needs to be reassured that Jesus is really the Messiah. There is a confusion. And when he sent his disciples, there was a confirmation. What's the confirmation? Jesus said to the disciples of John, Go and tell John what you have seen and what you have heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. And these are the vivid, concrete signs of God's supreme power, and only the Messiah can do that. Only the Messiah can allow the lame to walk again. Only the Messiah can cleanse the lepers. Only the Messiah can open the ear of the deaf. And only the Messiah can raise the dead back to life. Father Jack, what is your message on this first symbol to me? Ah, the message is very clear and listen by the friends. When you are confused, like John the Baptist's, turn to Jesus. When you have doubts in your life, do not deny the Lord. Turn to Him and your confusions will be eliminated. Perhaps in our life nowadays, we are like John the Baptist's. There is an element of doubt in our life. Perhaps some of us, like John the Baptist, we doubted the Lord. Are you really the Lord? Are you really the God? And if you are, why there is still pandemic? Sometimes we are confused about our life. And we do not know what to do. By the people of God, by the friends, by the brothers and sisters, turn to God. Go to Jesus, because us, ours, as our first reading is trying to tell us, it reminds that our God is a God who created order. He is the Lord of all things. He created the heavens and He formed the earth. He established it and He did not create chaos. On His first night, on His first evening, of our symphony. When in doubt, turn to the Lord, and heavenly favors will be yours. We Filipinos, the start of the symphony, the church is flooded with people. <laughs> so many people that you have not any chairs to go to sit when you are on Simbang Gabi. But here, we have the privilege. The, that's why, to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, and those who are listening online, if you need something in your life, if you have something in your life that you need and you ask the Lord, you have intentions, do some sacrifices. We believe that if you attend and complete the nine evenings of the Simbang Gabi, because of that sacrifices, God will reward you. Complete the nine evenings 
who knows by the next years to come you will have the desires of your hearts complete the night evenings and in the years to come who knows you will have your own business you can travel around the world who knows you can find a good job and fulfill your dreams Fulfill the night evenings, do sacrifices, and God will reward you with heavenly favors that you don't expect. Your family will be protected from any danger and harm. There will be no sickness, no war. But you will live in unlimited joy and peace with God. That's why when you are in doubt, Turn to Him. Let me end my reflection with three C's. C, C, C. Number one. First C. There's an element of confusion in our gospel. John was confused. When you are confused, don't be afraid to ask questions. I say it again. When you don't understand something, if you are confused about anything, don't be afraid to ask questions. When you are not sure about what you are doing, what you are doing, ask questions. Seek help. Seek an advice. Because when you are in doubt, Asking questions will clear and eliminate your confusions. Kids, when you don't know something, when you are in doubt, ask questions. Like John the Baptist, are you the expected one? Second C. When you are confused, convert your confusions into prayer. It means transform your doubts into faith. Transform your confusions into prayer. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear people of God, my dear Kababayans, when you are confused, pray. If you are confused, don't wander somewhere else. Like John the Baptist, go to Jesus. When you are in doubt, when you do not know what to do, do not go to the clubs. Do not go to the casino. Do not go party, don't drink, don't gamble. Don't do drugs. It will give you more confusions. <coughs> but when you are confused, like John, go to Jesus, and Jesus will clear your confusions. When you go to Him, when you go to Jesus, what will happen? The blind will open their eyes. When you go to Jesus, closed ears will be unlocked. When you go to Jesus, dirty people will be cleansed. When you go to Jesus, broken individual will be fixed. When you go to Jesus, chaos will be back to order and stability. When you go to Jesus, sickness will be healed. When you go to Jesus, those who are deprived of justice will be free. Are you confused? Do you have doubts? Learn from John the Baptist. Go to him. And finally, continue to trust the Lord. 
because our first reading is telling us there is no other God besides Him. Doubt no more. Eliminate your confusions because there is a God who provides all. Nine days to go. He will come, the Prince of Peace, the answer to all our confusions. There are so many people now confused, and to eliminate their confusions, they go to the wrong places. That's why their confusions until now are not yet solved, because they have the wrong medications for their confusions. Today, as we start our singing of the Queen, turn to the Lord. Complete the nine evenings, and I tell you, with the power of your prayers, God will listen to your prayers and reward you with so much heavenly remorse that you don't expect.